what up youtube so here's another trick for you i have a simple form right here and in this one what i want to do is add some rounded edges to these buttons and hopefully add even more cooler styles all right so i'll get out of this and let's go back to sublime here the buttons i want to deal with is these two submit and console okay so let's go down here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new widget and i'm going to call this one smooth button and it's going to inherit from a normal button all right just like that now i'm going to create some few defaults here the first one is the background color i want it to be invisible because i'm going to be manipulating the canvas so it's going to be black and invisible then the background normal is going to be nothing and then I'm going to need a property here. I'll call this one back underscore color. And this is going to be by default, let's say maybe purple. All right, just like that. And then finally, I'll have a border radius. And this is basically how round the corners are going to be. All right, so border radius is going to be a list and by default i will go with 18 okay and let's see yep so that should do it now let's just manipulate our canvas here so canvas to before and we are going to need a color all right just like that and the rgba value for this color is going to be self dot back color just like that and then for our rounded edges i'm going to Create a rounded rectangle. All right, this is available in the graphics vertex instructions. All right, just like the normal rectangle. So the size of this is going to be self dot size, and of course the position is going to be self dot position. Then finally, rounded rectangle has a radius. And this is a list and so what we're going to do is use self dot border radius all right control us to save and i believe that should do it so let's go to our submit button here and let's change this to a smooth button control us to save let me go back to my terminal and i'll run this in ipad mode and it did not work strange Let's, now let's check back here we have let's see a button here and the problem is right there all right we don't want to manipulate our background we want to manipulate our back color and we don't really need this so i'll just clear this out just like that all right now control us to save and let's keep the defaults for now and there you have it a rounded button all right how easy was that all right so continuing on here what i want to do is add a rounded button for this one but i don't want it to be filled with the background color all right so what i'll do is i'm still going to use back color here and again i don't need this all right so i'll just remove it here like that all right and of course close this real quick now i'll just copy all of this okay create another widget so i'll copy this and paste it down here and i will change this from smooth button to something like maybe stroke button and background color and background normal everything is great here what i want is for border radius I don't want it to be a list i want it to be an integer like this all right and that's the color here is what i want to change okay so i'll remove basically all of this and here i'll add a line instead of a rounded uh rectangle and then i will say in this line i want to create a rounded rectangle with my line okay so rounded rectangle like this all right and the first argument here is the position of the starting point of this rounded rectangle all right so this is going to be position zero then position one because the first value is position x second one position y all right 
So now that that is done, the second I the third item, sorry, is basically the width, all right? So the width is going to be size zero. Then the height is going to be size and one. And then finally, we want our radius, all right? So the radius is going to be border radius. So here, I'll just add border radius just like that, all right? And let's see. Yep, so that should do it. What I want to do here instead is actually let me go down here and first add a width here and I'll add about let's see for our width I'll add about 1.2 all right so what I want to do here is change the color of this button actually I should do it down here okay after we've declared our back color so I'll say the color is equal to self dot back color just like that right and i also make this bold so bold is equal to true control us to save and now with our stroke button let's try to work with it with this button so our stroke button this control us to save let's go to our terminal run this and we have a problem it says let's see rounded rectangle pause is not defined whoops Rookie mistake right there. This is actually supposed to be self dot pause self dot pause and self dot border radius self dot size and right there self dot size. Now control S to save and let's try this one more time. All right, there you have it. It's a rounded button with no background all right just a stroke all right so with our rounded button here we are free to do even crazier stuff so for example as you can see border radius is actually a list right if we give it one value like this then the radius is going to be the same on the left right bottom and bottom right all right so let's say for example on our button here i define a border radius and for my border radius, I say, let's say, I uh, will just say 18, right? And then I'll say 2, and then I'll say 18, and then I'll say 2 again, all right? Control S to save this. Now let's try to run this again. And this is the kind of button you get, all right? So this is going to be up to you. I can also say maybe 2 here. This constant and actually change this to 18 and check it out there you have it all right sort of like a peel or something all right so it's as simple as that as you can see with this you can basically create as many styles as you want and it's going to be pretty easy pretty simple all right all you have to do is change the border radius this time instead of changing the whole thing all right, so that is it for this one. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, definitely check out the Udemy course. The link is going to be in the description. It's actually a discounted link with a coupon. So definitely check that out. Otherwise, as always, I'll see you in the next one.